Good morning, Deb. Another beautiful sailing day. Uh, these days are uh, becoming more frequent now as we're starting to head north. We're just leaving Rock Sound and heading up to Governor's Harbor, which is uh, a place where apparently there's a bank that'll work with our bank card. So that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> I've owed, owed that guy who's chasing me $16 now for about three days. So uh, Dave, you're gonna get your money, but uh, we're gonna have to get some cash out of the bank. Um, we're trying to uh, avoid some heavy weather that's about to come our way and uh, uh, we're doing uh, a trip all the way up to Hatchet Bay so next Sunday, which today is Friday, um, next Sunday uh, we'll be in Hatchet Bay which gives you protection from all sides so that storm will be a pretty uh, insignificant thing when we're in that harbor. Other than that everything's going great. There's there's two catches behind us. There's one way back in there, and then I've got one right here. And uh, we've walked right past them. And it's starting to make me think that maybe our new boat isn't going to be a catch. We were hoping to buy a Pearson 424, 425. I forget the model number now. But uh, I think that one way back there, uh, which we passed about an hour ago without starting the engine, uh, that's uh, one of those boats. A beautiful boat, but uh, doesn't quite have the speed that I'd want. Um, so we're back to the drawing board as far as boats we're interested in. So uh, Windover's working fantastically. Uh, we've had uh, really no breakdowns whatsoever, no issues whatsoever. Engine has run perfectly and the sails have performed magnificently. Uh, today we are sailing at almost six knots, six knots it just went to. So six knots with a gentle breeze that is 11 knots apparent and uh, look at us. It's uh, quite a fantastic boat really for light airs. So very happy with her uh, but we need a little bit more space down below. That's the plan. We're going to see if we can pick up something that's got a few more feet on it and a bit better accommodation for us cruisers. Um, what else can I tell you? The water is starting to get a little more murky than it was uh, back in the Exumas. The Exuma chain, the water is crystal clear and uh, now it's kind of uh, uh, not quite crystal clear. It's got sort of a green tinge to it. Uh, you can still see the bottom, uh, but it's not, it's not like you're floating on air anymore. Uh, the, the water certainly changed. It's still lovely and warm and we did some swimming this morning before we left. Um, water's great here, temperatures are great. So we're going down the coast of the island of Eleuthera and heading to Governor's Harbor to carry on in our adventures. for a segment we like to call Cool Boats We Like. 
Today we are visiting with Karen and Robert Falls on their home-built Pan-Oceanic 46 Bella Venture. Okay. I built it in my, in my, beside my shop, I have a wood shop. Oh, you, you built it on your own? or? Yes, I built it on my own with my two, the help of my two sons. Yeah. We started by making a mold that uh, was constructed from plywood sections covered with uh, strips of wood, um, you know, one-inch square strips of wood, yeah. and then the whole thing was coated or planked, almost diagonal planked with uh, masonite. Yeah. It had a, a white finish on it. So did you cut the masonite in, in strips then? Or? Yeah, okay. strips and 16-inch wide strips and then diagonal planked it and, uh, and then taped the seam so that the polyester resin wouldn't drip through Yeah. to make a nice smooth surface. Wow. And then just laid up a uh, 24 ounce woven roving and uh, 2 ounce mat in layers and yeah. anywhere between 9 and 13 layers. Wow. So the finished product then is how thick? Um, it varies from about 9 sixteenths at the gunnel down to about an inch and a half and down at the keel because it's an encapsulated keel. Yeah, yeah. So that once I'd done the whole boat with these 13 layers, uh, which I then flipped it over, took out the mold from the inside. How did you flip it? Um, the old fashioned way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made a wall and uh, braced this wall and just come along with really? cha cha uh, chain falls. Well. And we just, just lift it and then it slides, the bottom slides on the big old cars. Yeah, two, yeah. Two yeah. Runners, and you just pull up on one side and at some point the, the balance of the boat just wants to fall back down the other way. Yeah. Needless to say, I was really nervous. Yeah, <laughs> it was uneventful then, I take it? <laughs> it was totally oh, yeah. oh, good, good. I can't imagine. <laughs> yeah. It was a long project. Yeah. So Are you glad you did it? Oh, for sure. Are you glad he did it, Karen? Yes, oh, definitely. <laughs> She's a comfortable bug to live Oh, yeah, She's yeah. I love working on it. I, I had more fun than I've had doing it just about anything else I didn't think of. Really? <laughs> Isn't that something? Well, and uh, the keel then, what uh, what ballasts the boat? It's a lead, uh, and I did it in five sections because I couldn't handle it. It's 1,500 pounds of lead. Wow. So I couldn't deal with that all in one piece. So I, I made a mold of the inside of the boat with foam in, and uh, then I took those blocks of foam and made cement molds and then poured lead into the contraption on the steel yeah. bathtub kind of contraption with um, oil furnace burners. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. To the side. Oh wow! Big hunk of thing that stack. <laughs> <laughs> Those tiger torches and propane tanks, and you just heat up a big batch of oil or yeah. lead, and then pour it in these individual molds. So these are wheel weights and batteries and everything I can get my hands on. Now. You were saying earlier there were some windows from an old church or yes, something. Yeah, there was a church fire in Moonberg. St. John's Medical Church. And the uh, people oh, we know the people that. Do stained glass work and they replaced the windows. Oh, also. wow. So they had a lot of uh, wow. lead cane. Yeah. Uh, and it'd be old stuff too, oh, yeah. quite a history yeah, to it. Yeah, wow. it's, it's the oldest, I think it's the oldest Anglican church and maybe one of the oldest churches in Canada. Wow. Because they rebuilt it. Yeah, in St. John's. No, in Lunenburg. In Lunenburg. Wow. It's called St. Wow. John's Anglican. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So, so the boat is here. from Lunenburg, by the way. and I've, It's I've, registered in Lunenburg. It's, it's registered in Lunenburg, okay. And we actually live about a half an hour away from Lunenburg in a place called Crescent Beach, very small. Like that's the shippiest port you could possibly <laughs> register your boat under, eh? Yes, absolutely. Wow. Huh. Very Canadian. Yeah. And the Blue Nose is there, isn't it, in Lunenburg? Yes, Blue Nose, all, all kinds of famous boats. Wow. Huh. You know, Karen, what, what was your role in all this? What kind of, she, what was your contribution to the... Money. She made the money? She made the money? Well, at one period I worked for two jobs, so he didn't just work full time on the Oh bottom. my, God. really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, that's a pretty serious role then, I suppose. Well, it was very much a family project. I mean, Rob's yeah. dad was, you know, I mean, a big supporter and, yeah. and help and uh, our two sons. And I did the cushions actually, with a whole lot of help from a friend who really knew what she was doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was her assistant. But. Wow. So, uh, is there are there things yet to do? Oh, sure. Yeah, I still have a small list of four or five pages worth of, you know, a few drawers and doors and yeah. trim here and there. But 
Yeah. We just we just sorry we had to start using it. You know, there was nothing wrong with you know it's, it's saleable absolutely. And yeah. So we wanted to use it while we still got the opportunity. Yeah, and Karen, where have you sailed to? Like you're. you're uh, when we launched her in 2011, we uh, came down the eastern seaboard of the U.S. to the Abacos and back, mm -hmm. uh, which was a pretty long journey, mm -hmm. eight months. Um, and then this year, uh, brought her down to the Bahamas. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it was basically over a 10 year period that it took to, to construct the vessel. Yeah. Because uh, you can only work from about May till October in Nova yeah, Scotia. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you had a big greenhouse structure over it, but you couldn't heat it. It was just far too large. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And she's 47 feet, eh? Well, it's 44 on deck, and they call it a 46 because of the pulpit in the front. Okay. Well, it's a very substantial, very beautiful boat. Anyway, we've uh, had a good time visiting with you, and uh, hopefully we'll see you out on the water somewhere. The deck on this thing is huge. Boy, you sure have a lot of room up here, don't you? So tell us what you're doing, Deb. No, because I'm fair. <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm just uh, sending emails out. For what purpose? Um, I'm sending an email out regarding a passport forty that's been listed for a while. Ooh, so, what, what is a passport forty? Well, Chris and I are thinking that maybe Windover may be a little too small for us. Um, and just we really like this boat actually. But uh, we're finding the storage space a little um, tight, especially since we like to bring along two bicycles. So we have a short list, and on that short list is a Passport 40, a Valiant 40, a Shannon 38, and uh, maybe a Caliber 38. And there's probably a couple other ones that I'm forgetting right now. Yeah. But, uh, Cabo so Rico 38? A, a Cabo 38. Rico 38 is pretty nice. The Cabo Rico 34 I would prefer to the 38 actually, mm -hmm. but they're um, as rare as hen's teeth. Mm -hmm. And um, what else? I can't think of any more on the short list, but we've got a few. So. What about uh, Alubat Ovni? Is that Dream Along with Mitch? I think so. Yeah, if anyone has a, a Novni that they'd like to sell really cheap, <laughs> Yeah, contact us, know. us. Yeah, that would be a, that would be a dream boat. Wouldn't yeah. it? That's an aluminum boat with a, a draw keel that I think swing you know, keel. A swing keel, yeah, that yeah. you can land right on beach. Actually, very tough boats made yeah. in France and uh, quite beautiful, actually. And what else? What other boats? We'd like something with maybe a little more water storage. We find that. Uh, you no, know, I'd even consider a uh, an Allberg 37. Really? Canadian built. Kind of skinny, but yeah. go anywhere. They are. Yeah. They're very pretty boats as well. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I'd, anyway. like, I'd like to check out the deck space. That's really important too. Yeah. The amount of space on the deck. Um, yeah. yeah. So many variables. So all you other sailors out there, I, I know you're jealous now. Uh, my wife shops for sailboats. <laughs>
Quite a party last night at Governor's Harbor. Uh, the chicken and fish were pretty good, and they had lots of music and dancing all night long, and a bit of a limbo competition. Uh, it's uh, quite early in the morning, uh, eight o'clock, early for a cruiser, and uh, we're going to head down to Alabaster Harbor, I believe they call it, and uh, it's just between here and Hatchet Bay. It's only six, seven miles, but. A little run this morning to another bay with a little better holding. The holding here was uh, basically awful. Um, we managed to hook onto a cable of some sort that I could barely get uh, up off the bottom and, uh, and managed to unsnag my anchor and we're now sitting on about 20 feet of anchor while we prepare the boat and uh, we're going to take off. Um, one thing that uh, I have been doing more and more of is conserving time and effort and energy by uh, being a little bit more uh, yeah systematic in my approach to things so uh, this morning uh, I know we're gonna travel early so I just got up uh, got on the wheel we're ready to go and when I get there I'm gonna have to dive on my anchor which means I'm gonna have to go in the water which means I may as well clean up then so uh, I'm uh, trying to conserve time and uh, we're going to head up to Alabaster uh, Harbor and um, that's where we'll get ready for the day. So, Governor's Harbor, it's been nice knowing you. Private little beat. How are you doing here? Good. Now, this is on the Atlantic side. We had to go for quite a long bike ride today to get here, but we wanted to see it for ourselves. We've been sailing on the inside, doing very little on the outside, and this is the outside. Next stop, Africa.
So Deb, inquiring minds want to know, uh, why do you have a doily on your head? Because someone forgot their hat. It was cloudy when we left. Anyway. <laughs> so there we, you go. Make you look amazing. New statement. <laughs> it's helping. It's really hot out here. Yeah. Talk to me.